All right, guys. Well, uh, we were just out here after uh, some heavy rains the last couple days, and uh, flipped the log and found this gorgeous, gorgeous snake. This is the eastern mud snake, or Francia abacura, abacura. Um, this is one of the more uncommon snakes to find here in Florida. Um, they pretty much only inhabit swamplands. Uh, this is a lot more of a small, and this is still a juvenile. This is one of the uh, the largest snakes here in Florida, too. They do reach lengths over six feet. Um, they pretty much only feed off a of siren and amphiuma salamanders, but as young, they take the tadpoles and frogs as well. Um, you can see a lot of times people have called these hoop snakes. Um, same thing with their closer cousin, the uh, rainbow snake, because they have, it's a stupid myth that they bite their tail and they roll down hills and stuff, and you know, something lame like that. Um, but yeah, this is a really cool snake. You notice at the end of his tail, it has a really sharp point tail. And they both see, they pretty much just stab you with that, but it doesn't really hurt that bad. It doesn't hurt at all, as a matter of fact. But um, you see, the one thing that stands out about this snake is its belly. It's got the most gorgeous, gorgeous belly. Um, there are three species of uh, Ferrantia snakes in Florida. And um, one is thought to be extinct. That's the South Florida Rainbow Snake. But the other snake, the rainbow snake, the common rainbow snake is doing just fine. That is Ferrantia yithrogamma, yithrogamma. Um, both of them eat uh, elongated fish or, um, or salamanders. Uh, the rainbow snake eats eels, uh, specifically the American eel. And uh, they usually just live in rivers that connect out to the gulf or uh, salt water. But this is a really, really beautiful snake here. A um, couple more facts about the mud snake. Um, they can be found crossing roads after heavy rains and during rains. Um, and these are egg layers. They lay up to uh, 50 to 70 eggs. And uh, they're just a really, really glossy snake. And juveniles, the red almost wraps around their whole body. And as they age, it just stays to the bottom of them. So, um, so yeah, this is a really, really nice snake. Uh, they don't really do that well in captivity just because of the way they, they live in the wild originally, just living in the mud. Um, they normally just don't do well in captivity, so uh, they're usually just best to be left out in the wild. Um, definitely something as beautiful like this isn't uh, meant to live in captivity its whole life. So, uh, yeah, we'll go ahead and put this snake back, and uh, hopefully we can find some more or some other cool stuff. So, Eastern Mud Snake.